Let's talk about how to care for your wool pressing mat. Underneath this protective homemade cover is my monster wool pressing mat. It is 18 by 36 inches or the size of a king size pillowcase. And you can always use a king size pillowcase. You don't need to make your own cover or you can use it in its own natural form. Now, if you have room for the bigger one, which I bought about two years ago, I recommend that size. You can always cut it down and make two. The smaller one, believe it or not, was more expensive five years ago than the bigger one underneath two years ago. So the prices really come down. And if you don't have one yet, boy, what are you waiting for? You will never regret having one of these wool mats. So I'm going to show you that a little brush with a lint roller, even with the protective cover, it's going to take a bit of uh, lint off the mat. So whether it is actually from the wool itself or things that work their way through the cover, um, you do need to do some maintenance on these every once in a while. I would say that some people prefer to use their mat without a cover because they feel that their fabric gets a better grip gripping onto the wool but people love these mats regardless because it's like ironing on both sides of your fabric at the same time so the mat shoots the heat back up underneath your fabric and really helps to give you a really good clean pressing job and you can see that I'm just ironing out the creases that I put in this napkin and I find the mat does this if I do the front side then the back side the creases are gone and that is the beauty of a wool pressing mat now for me I find that it works the same even if it is covered with my homemade cover and if I have to keep something in place like perhaps I'm turning up a hem which I'll show you here I would use some pins and that's another thing I love about the mats is you can pin right through them. It's a half inch of dense New Zealand wool and you can pin right through them. And I also find too that my protective cover really helps to protect my craft table underneath because it absorbs some of the steam from my iron that makes its way through the mat. So whether you want to use a cover or whether you want to wash your mat from time to time just to remove any of the dirt, anything that's in the mat say from water in your iron they do get dirty with use over time from lots of things so you're going to use a low sudsing detergent one from your front load washing detergent that has an he on the on the front of the container or something that's maybe made for fine fabrics not a lot of suds you want to keep the suds low i'm using two tablespoons of that he detergent and that cup has my before water in it. And I'm just gonna, you know, push my mat into the soapy water and make sure that it's completely wet. And I'll do that for about three minutes, just sort of agitating it with my hands and pushing the water and the soap into the mat. And then I'll do it on the other side as well just moving the mat around in the soapy water. And then I'll walk away and come back in 10, 15 minutes or an hour, however long. And I've got a bit of water out from the after. I'm just gonna add, top that up a little bit with a smaller glass. And I'll show you in a minute the before and after. This mat really wasn't that dirty, but this is how you would clean them. And then give it a good rinse till I can't see any more soap. And then I'm going to let it stand on its end overnight in the sink. And just let the water drain out. And it drains fast through the mat. You can see it pouring out of the bottom there. And if you had a bigger mat, you can just do a loose roll wrapping around the sides of the sink. And just walk away and leave it and let it dry. And this is a newish five-year-old pressing mat, ready to work for me again tomorrow. <laughs> so you can cover it, or you can wash it from time to time, or you can do both. But I think that you'll agree that a wool pressing mat is a good investment that is pretty easy to take care of. And it's actually one of my top 10 sewing tools.